Hello everybody, Maximus here with Able Website Pro and today we're going to be talking about folders and files and directories on the computer and how you can make sense of it all. Now you'll notice here on my desktop I have a new folder. If I double click and open that folder, let me bring it over so you can see, you can see that you know this folder is empty. Now in order to get to the location of this folder that is called a path now if you can visualize perhaps uh, a bunch of filing cabinets okay so let's uh, get a bunch of filing cabinets here and you see we have these different filing cabinets if you could picture each one of them as a computer and these drawers are just kind of like uh, different. Maybe this is the hard drive, a flash drive. But inside each one of those drawers, you have all of these folders that, that have files and other folders in them. Now, the difference between a filing cabinet and a computer is that a filing cabinet, you usually have a folder. And inside the folder, you have, you know, your papers or whatnot, pictures and uh, maybe CDs. But the difference with a computer is you could put a folder within a folder within a folder within a folder. And to illustrate that to you, so here we have uh, a new folder on the desktop. And in the, the desktop folder, I can actually create more folders. So if I, I can select this new folder here, and uh, I'll just call this test1. And I can actually put another folder in here. You can also right click, select new, and select folder. We'll call this test two. And it goes on and on. We could also put files in here this way. So if I right click, select new, and we'll just select bitmap image, and we'll call this pic.jpeg. Okay? And even though there's not a picture in there, you can see that it's a file. Okay, so we have two folders and a file. Now, the reason why a folder is also referred to as a directory, it's a directory is, gets you to where you're going, but a directory and a path are pretty much the same thing. Let me go ahead and enlarge this a little bit. And so you, we could see the a path to, uh, I think, one of these folders, even this, this file here. If we click on the file, and we see here we have user C, which is the hard drive, users, which is a folder, Max, which is a folder, desktop, which is a folder, and then new folder, which is a folder. And then we have two more folders in here, test one and test two, with a file in that inside that new folder. So this is the path or the directory, because they call it directory because, uh, you know, uh, Back in the old days, they had an operator, you know, that was the directory, and she would send you to <clears throat> the the particular person that you're looking for. So, and then you have a directory being like the phone book, uh, you know, where you could see things in alphabetical order. So that being said, let, let's go to my downloads here for a minute, so I could show you everything on this side, on this left hand side. Let me go ahead and make this bigger for you. Everything on this left hand side is actually a folder or a directory. So if we want to navigate to our desktop, the desktop itself is a folder, but this is the directory. Picture this to be the directory on the left-hand side where you could go to these different places quickly. And even though Documents is, is just a folder, it has a different icon. Downloads, that's just a folder too, but it has a different icon. Music, all these things are just folders and in order to get there they have a little directory here and then a path here to help you get to these places okay and that's what you can if you can continue to visualize that these uh the way these folders and directories and files work uh being like a filing cabinet or what have you you could try to conceptualize it in your mind a little bit better on how it works. Now, some of the things that may confuse you, okay, when you're 
when you're talking about folders and directories, let me go ahead and open up a new folder in a new window. I'm going to open it in a new window. And now what I want to do is put these kind of like side by side. So I can drag and drop from one to the other. So here, if you look at the very top here, this is my desktop folder. And this is my new folder. If I want to go to, let's go to my downloads folder because I can play around with this all day long. And then here in my uh, new folder that I created here earlier, where I put the two tests in there. Let me open up uh, test one. And then test one, I will go ahead and put uh, all these files right here. Now let me, uh, I'm going to hold control button, the control button down on my keyboard. And... Uh, Notice how I make this rectangle. I, I kind of put my, uh, uh, be before you hit the control button on your keyboard, you take your mouse, hold the left click down, and then just highlight th those files. Then hold your control button down on your keyboard, take and drag them to a new folder. Now notice it took these files and just made a copy of them. Okay, that's from holding down the control button on the keyboard. Now let me go ahead and highlight all these, and I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard, and it deleted th those particular files in that test one folder. But now I'm just going to take and I'm going to drag these, let me go ahead and highlight them first with my mouse, without holding my control button down, I'm going to drag them and drop them. Notice it pulled it out of the downloads folder and put them in the test one folder. Okay. Now let me go ahead and drag these back. And so now it took it out of the test one folder, put it back in my downloads folder. Okay. Now the other thing that you, uh, so that, that we do quite frequently is we right click and we'll select either cut or copy. So if you want to cut with dragging and dropping, as long as you're on, within your computer, you can, you can do that. Uh, you know, just drag them without pushing any buttons on the keyboard. If you want to copy them, you hold the control button down on your keyboard. The other thing that you may have noticed is whenever I take this, and we'll just copy this, I'll drag and drop, hold my uh, control button down. Let me go ahead and put that back. Why are these, ha why do these have that little icon? It's kind of a list file. And why does this have these uh, medium size icons over here? Well, that's in the way that you construct your files and how you want to view it. So, for example, if in this test one folder, if I wanted these icons to be really large, I would go into a, like a blank spot on the test one folder. I would right click on my mouse, select view. And select extra large icons. Now notice that the icons are very large now, okay? And that you can see, you know, them very, I mean, they're even larger than these ones. But if you wanted them to be the same size, we could right click, select view, and maybe put medium icons. And we could see now they are the same size. So don't, whenever you pull files and folders out of one, uh, folder and put them in another one if you if they look different and it's confusing you it's probably because of the view so you want to right click select view so and then you want to have them be the same the other thing too is you have these other different viewing um, options here's one that that's tiles It'll kind, it kind of tiles it gives you the the icon image and maybe a little bit more information uh, if you view it as content you could see here that you get a little bit more information. Uh, one of the things that comes in helpful is if you view it as details. And the reason why this is helpful, let me go ahead and make this a little bit larger for you. You get the name of the file, you get the date that it was modified, and you get the type of file it is and then the size it is. Now, if you wanted everything to be in alphabetical order, you would click name and it will arrange it in alphabetical order from ascending to descending. See this little arrow right here that's pointing up? Right now, it, it's in ascending order. And then if I click it another time, you notice the arrow points down. 
And so that would be descending order. So we start with S and we end with I. It goes in alphabetical order backwards. If I click it again, it's in alphabetical order the way it's supposed to be. Now, if I wanted these files to be in order from date and time, notice the date February 13th, 2022, February 15th, 2022. Now, down here, we got February 13th, 2022. If I select Date Modified and I click on it, now notice it groups it together. It's giving me the 15th first and then the 13th. But if I hit it again, it'll give me the 13th first and then the 15th last. So it's ordering them in according to the date. You can also group them by type. Now notice that the compressed file is in between the JPEG files. If I click on type, notice it puts the compressed file first because C is in alphabetical order comes before J. And if I hit it again, uh, you can see that the compressed file will be on the bottom. And here you can also arrange by size. Uh, you might be looking for a huge file somewhere. That's that's how that would come in handy. You know, uh, if you're looking for a huge file, if you're looking for the type of file or the date of the file or put possibly the name of the file. And so that's how within your folders you could look for things a little bit easier. You could also use the search where you would search within this particular folder okay so I hope that helps you conceptualize uh, folders and you know how you can almost view them like filing cabinets and and, and the directory is just the path to, to find that particular file or folder that you need and then within those folders you can arrange them and order them in such a way where it's easier to find for you. Okay, this is Max with AM Website Pro. I hope this tutorial has helped you a little bit better in, in understanding and conceptualizing uh, files and folders on your computer. If I was able to help you out, please uh, like, share, subscribe. If you need a little bit more clarification, let me know. I'd be happy to do it. Uh, mark it in the comments below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.